What makes an EF5 tornado different from an EF3 or 4? You know, it's sort of the old rule of thumb about F5 tornadoes was that uh, while an F4 tornado would uh, would destroy the structure, the F5, in a sense, would clean up after itself and, and you know, blow all the debris away. The last EF5 tornado to hit the U.S. was on May 20th, 2013. It flattened parts of Moore, Oklahoma, and killed 24 people. But has it really been 2,921 days since we've seen a tornado with winds over 200 miles per hour? So it's kind of hard to tell, but you've already got a rare event to start with. And if you make even the smallest changes in how the in how the reporting is done, it can affect how we look at things. That said, we can't tell if this is you know what we call meteorologically real, uh, or if it is how much of it is an artifact of the reporting changes. The enhanced Fujita scale, which is used to rate tornadoes, estimates wind based on the damage. If a tornado hits an area that doesn't have a lot of sturdy structures, it's hard to rate. Take, for instance, the massive tornado that hit El Reno, Oklahoma, 11 days after the Moore, Oklahoma EF5. Certainly, the El Reno radar observations are well above the, the, the minimum wind speed for an EF5. Are they exactly the same wind? Well, not exactly. Uh, but it also didn't hit very much. Uh, the structures that were hit were, were few and far between. While the EF scale is here to stay for now, there is talk of using mobile radar data to get better measurements of wind speeds inside tornadoes. Mary Mays, News 2. One drought we can get used to, right? Well, one thing is that we do know about EF5 tornadoes. They're incredibly rare. The only one to hit Middle, t middle Tennessee was on April 16th, if you remember, back in 1998. Meantime, if you need help recovering from the March storms, we had plenty of those, tragically. There will be a recovery center open this coming Saturday through the end of the month. Businesses and residents in the declared area can now apply for low-interest disaster loans and other financial help. We have a link to the information on our website, WKRN.com.